Hi all, this is Karen. Welcome to another unboxing at Doolally Crafts. I've just dropped my daughter off at school, so I grabbed a coffee on the way home. And we have the unboxing, as you can see, I've already opened it a little bit. So I'm going to move this off to the side and bring pieces in one by one to show you what I've got from the new catalog. This I had to have. It's our candy cane season bundle. Now I know how popular the um, oh, what was it called? It's been ages since I've used it. It's the one with the Santa. I can't even see it on the shelf. Hang on. It's cookie cutter Christmas. I don't know where I've put it. But I know how popular Cookie Cutter Christmas was. And that was why when I saw this I thought, yes, I've got to have it. If nothing else, these will make gorgeous backgrounds. I like the ho-ho-ho. Um, and, yeah, I can just see this being quite popular. Anything with a punch will sell well. So um, this comes as a bundle. And I really like the look of it. So that's the first thing. The next is this one, Merry Christmas to All. Now, I love anything with fonts, anything with wording, because it makes making cards that much easier. I'm just going to zoom in, if I can remember how. Okay, so you can see all the beautiful words on that one. Um, you've got Christmas, Merry, Happy holidays and then a heap of um, um, more formal looking words. Now this also comes in a bundle with some big shot dies and I can't wait for you to see these. These actually sold me on this set. How's that? You've got Christmas, you've got holidays, you've got merry, you've got happy and you've even got a couple of framelits there which I can't wait to use. I can see so much potential with that sweet so you've not just got these um, just normal um, stamps which are a lot larger now let me just see I haven't seen anybody demoing this yet so are they going to be no they're just a bit bigger the framelits are just that little bit bigger than the scripty words but the script is the same in here as in here and as you can see you've even got the um, framelit um, the the framelit stamp as well and you've got lots of words that you can put inside those frames so yeah that was number two and that's called the Merry Christmas to all and Merry Christmas thinlets dies remember buy them together save 10% and it's the same with the candy cane season buy them together and save 10% okay the last of the bundles that I purchased was signs of Santa now this is gorgeous if when you see the papers you are going to absolutely fall in love with this now there are actually two separate lots of DSP that have been released this season with um, die and stamp sets where you can actually use the dies to cut out these images. If you can't be bothered or you, you're not confident in your colouring you can actually use the dies in the Santa signpost framelits to cut out the characters. Okay, we'll just take Mrs. Santa off. Remember to peel the paper away from the dies so that you don't break them, you don't peel the dies away from the paper. Okay, so as you can see, Mrs. Santa is framed perfectly there. So you can die cut all of these, and I think you get two pages of this. Now this is specialty DSP in that the DSP is actually flocked. You've got a lot of little snowflakes all over here, all little dots that are all flocked. The top of each of the um, each of the um, elves 
I'm just going to call them gnomes and, and, and um, dwarves then. Uh, <laughs> yeah, the top of the elves' hat and the pom-pom is also flopped, as well as Mrs. Claw's apron. So that's gorgeous paper. But as I said, we've got the dies, and you can see you've got dies for the signpost, dies for just... Where's the stamp set gone? For these two signposts that point in either direction, you've got dies to trim out your elves and Santa's die and the little cart and the presents. So this is going to be another really good seller. I could see this. Um, I can't wait to use it. I'm so looking forward to it. My Christmas... Um, cards will probably start within the next few days um, as a lead up to Christmas so once again buy these two together and you save 10% I can see that being really popular so as you can see we've got our DSP and I will open it up so that you can see it all because I can't even remember what it all looks like Okay, let's open this up and get it all out. Okay, so, oh, that feels so nice. So that's the flopped piece, and you get two of those, and you've got the holly on the other side. Then you've got another flopped piece, which is this snowman, and it's got large um, snowflakes all over that one. And I believe there is another set that you could cut those out with. I'm not a hundred percent, but I know this, the design of the snowflakes is actually, um, I don't know whether I can show you on this, whether it'll pick them up, but I'm pretty sure there's another another set of um, dies that are actually cutting out these. It's like a circle that's had pie shapes cut out of it to leave. Yeah, I don't know that you can actually see that. I'm sorry about that. But yeah, another gorgeous piece and you've got the Christmas trees on the back oh now this is gorgeous it's not flopped it's just straight paper but it's a line up of all the little elves there and you've got beautiful I think I'll be buying more of this paper I love that I can see a lot of my cards being made out of this this year oh, I've just fallen in love with this paper all over again there we go we've got all the elves putting stars on the top of the Christmas tree, the big sack, and the rocking horse with the elf on it. I had a rocking horse like that when I was a baby. I've got photos of me on it. And on the back, you've got these dashed lines with the green. <gasps> oh, all the whites flopped. The candy canes. Oh, oh, that feels so nice. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm really into this. And you've got the little bows from... Oh, there's no bows in that stamp set. But you've got the bows from the candy cane all over that. But they're very small. And the last one is, once again, it's flopped. And Santa's beard's not flopped, but the dwarves... Not the dwarves. <laughs> the elves are all flopped. And once again, you can cut those out with the dies. And... The presents flocked. Yep, these presents are all flocked as well. And the top of each of the elves' hats is flocked. Oh, isn't this gorgeous? Santa in his sleigh. His little furry hat is flocked. And the top of his on these are flocked as well. Absolutely gorgeous. And on the back, the candy canes. Oh, I am in love with this paper. I can't wait to start making cards with this. Oh. oh, I'm so looking forward to this. Oh, I love that paper. Can you tell? Okay, so I'll pop that away. Okay, now this has been on my wish list for a while. It was one of the million dollar earners. I think it was Angie Judah. I'm pretty sure it was Angie Judah that this one was designed for. And this is her little dog, Bella. If I'm wrong, I'm sorry. I'll put a link below. But I've wanted this one, Bella and Friends, for ages. And I also want to get the cat one as well. Okay, this 
also goes with the um, Santa's uh, Santa and his elves. This is part of the design suite. You've got the trees. You've got the little snowflakes. Maybe I can get a picture of the snowflakes. Can I? Can you see those clearly? As I said, they're circles with little pie shapes cut out of them. Take them out of the packet so that you don't have the glare. But this is what I was talking about, that they're flopped all over the paper. Now, can you see? Yes, you can. See those? These little ones? There's bigger ones of those on that paper, and it's all flopped, and it is gorgeous. Oh, I'm glad I was able to show you that. So, yeah, this, you've got a row of trees, a couple of rows of snowflakes in two different sizes, the bows, and then you've got little um, enamel dots. And that one is part of the Santa's Workshop suite. Now, I do believe I've also got ribbons from that suite as well. <sighs> Pop that aside for a minute. Yes. Okay. We have the textured weave ribbon. And this is part of the Santa's Workshop suite. As you can see, it matches in with those really well and with the papers, so that can sit aside. Now, this, I almost went to Lincraft this week to buy a jewellery positioner. And then when I saw the catalogue, I realised we actually have our own positioning tool now. I don't know how that goes. I think it's just like that. And when you turn it, there's supposed to be glue that comes out to make it sticky. I haven't figured out how to work it yet. Nope. I have no idea. But you've got a palette knife type tool on that end. See, like a spatula end to pick things up. You've got two of these um, ends which as I said I think they're sticky tools and then you've got scoring tool there as well I think there's a knife on the end of that one yet yeah, no it's another pokey tool so you've got a pokey tool on that end as well as the spatula there we go that goes in and that goes on so I'll have to figure out how that all works but Ideal for placing sequins and tiny little things on um, your projects. Now I can't get that to sit in properly. Okay, so now I don't have to go up to Lincraft to get the jewellery picker. So that can go back in there. Ideal add to your addition to your stash. Now these are from last year. They're on the discontinued list. But I figured I'd get some because I never know when I'm going to need them. And some more of, um, this is the Garden Green Baker's Twine. This also goes with the Santa's Workshop Suite. So that's, I've never used the twine in the, ba the coloured Baker's Twine, I don't think. So I've got that one. I finally got my silicon craft sheet, so now I can do my glue without getting it everywhere. Uh, okay, I got my catalogue. I can't open it up and show it to you, but you're going to love this. Um, all of these things. Oh, and more, and more. Okay, I just got some more supplies as far as the white card stock. And then all is bright. I got that, which has got, um, I think it's garden green real red, I can't remember uh, and I think it's call me clover, I think ok, and that actually goes with this paper this is very similar to the petal promenade that we've had released where they've taken photos of actual um, trees and made it into paper and this is the All Is Bright Designer Series paper. Okay, that is Call Me Clover. It's actually Cherry Cobbler and Garden Green in there, or Real Red and Garden Green. So they're the colours.
and I will open this up And we will have a look at the patterns in here. This is for more the traditional um, Christmas cards that you would send to Nan and Grandad because they like the 40s look or the more traditional Christmas cards. So I covered kids with the Santa's workshop and this is for my older relatives. I love that. Although, once again, I wouldn't send it to Mum because it's green. And on the back, you've got the different coloured polka dots. <gasps> Look at that. Now, there's actually a punch that you, can, you can't use it on the paper, but it's got the lights. So you've got two sheets of that and just plain green on the back. Oh, you've got a bokeh look there with the crumb cake and then on the back I think that's all Christmas trees no pine cones on the back okay and then you've got um, dashed stars if you can see that yeah stars and dashes on one side and on the back oh look at that stockings and then you've got another foliage one which is different from the first this is all green and gold, that's all green and red and on the back you've just got the plain red so there you go, and that's got dash stripes and it's actually distressed as well and then what's the next one? Ponsettias? Poinsettias? I'm not sure how you pronounce that never been sure with that word ok, so you've got the graphically designed poinsettias all over that with some yellow highlights <gasps> Oh, look at that. Can you see that? Oh, my goodness. Another one with a heap of globes on it. All in gold. Okay, I love that. I can see using that background. And that's the end of that one. Oh, so I think I did some really good choices with that paper. I actually really like both sides to most of them. And I also, right at the bottom here, the Santa's Workshop DSP, which is, I think it's just real red and um, garden green. Let's see what colours match. On the back of each of the, um, the DSP packs, it'll tell you what the matching colours are. So this would be garden green and poppy parade. There we go. So that's Poppy Parade and Garden Green to go with that one. And then we've got the A4 size papers to go with that. Okay, that was all from my unboxing. I hope you've enjoyed um, the video today. I'm sorry my camera is so close so you don't get a really good view. But um, join me over the coming weeks as I start using all of these lovely products. Oh, I'm so wrapped with these. I cannot wait. And if you don't already have a catalogue and you don't have a, demo, a demonstrator here in Australia, give me a bell or send me an email, um, what have you, and uh, or make a comment below and I'll make sure... I have to edit that out. Sorry, that was my curiosity getting the better of me. Um, yeah, so um, I'll get one of these off to you. Okay, that's enough from me for now. I should have zoomed out so that you had a better view. I do apologise. But yeah, if you don't have a catalogue, get in touch with me and or even send me a text. My, my mobile phone number's um, on my website. So send me a text and um, I'll get one of these off to you. Okay, that's enough for me. I've rabbited on for 20 minutes. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.